Another effector in a MOOC graph is a step effector. I want to explain it. For example, we have a, a cube here. And make it smaller. Holding Alt and in a cloner. I'm going to make it linear. I, I explained all of the cloner and other effector in previous lesson and a lot of sitting in here i explained them before you can refer to the uh, previous video this in a linear <clears throat> you can make it linear in any direction that you want for example in x direction like this mm, you can change the offset nice you can set per step or another thing that you want. Okay, that's nice for me. And we want to give a parameter with a MoGraph <coughs> effector and step. This effector, as you can see, if you go to the effector in a parameter, uh, we have a scale parameter. You can to better see the step, you can go to the po uh, position. And we give a position to the y uh, number that you want. <clears throat> this number. As you can see, uh, we have it, this uh, effector give exactly this number to the last object of the cloner and the zero to the first. And with the step mode, it's give to other in between uh, other object in between this first and the end and the first object as you can see you can change it with this uh, if you go to the, the effector it gives with exactly this uh, as line uh, i explained that this graph editor this uh, <clears throat> window in cinema 40 is everywhere in cinema 40 uh, we have a separate lesson about the graph lesson, but it's very easy. You can hold in control, and as you can see, you can control the step mode of this spline. Or you can right click spline preset, linear, square, anything that you want. You can define it here, linear, for example. <clears throat> or you can change the gap. It means every tree or uh, gap between them, as you can see or every four, every three, every five, uh, the gap between the steps are creating like this. The first and the end object interpolate like a step. The zero means exactly one by one going to the last parameter that you define. Or you can define also rotation in this direction. Okay, as you can see, this is a zero rotation. Go to the rotation that you define it here. Interesting. And here is a string. You can do it. I explained them before. Okay, so you can see, you can control. This is the maximum number. It means this number exactly. And there's a minimum number allowing the lengths this is an uh the parameter that's a rotation a scale any parameter that you define in the parameter it's go to step mode to end from the first object to the end and with the fall off you can do a lots of interesting thing here as you can see to fall off you can do another thing Okay, this is a step effector, it's so easy and useful. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.